Hey guys, welcome to my JavaScript for Minecraft Bedrock tutorial playlist. In this playlist, I am hoping I can teach you guys all of the things that you will need to know uh, in JavaScript to be able to make scripts inside of Minecraft Bedrock. Now, I will be going over the complete basics, such as how to import things, all the way up to how to run functions, how to save things to um, dynamic properties, uh, such as a database and how to grab them from the database as well like how to read a dynamic property now a lot of that may not make sense to you but that is what i am aiming to do inside of this playlist so welcome to part one of the playlist now the first thing that i recommend you do is as you can see on screen here we have a Visual Studio Code. Now, I highly, highly recommend that you go and download this because we're gonna be using Visual Studio Code as a tool to write code inside of. It is completely free. The link to it is down in the description. Uh, so the first step is to go and download that. Now, if you haven't already made a behavior pack, I've already got a video on how to create a behavior pack that you can use for scripting and how to set up your entry file and all of that good stuff in the top right corner of your screen. If you just click on that link there, that will take you to the video on how to create a behavior pack for scripting. Now, one thing I must mention is when you create a behavior pack, please put it inside of the development behavior pack folder. So if we open up file explorer here, this is your com.mojang folder. Now to locate your com.mojang folder, again, that is inside of my video to how to create a behavior pack. And it goes in depth on how to obviously get to your com.mojang folder. Now when you get here, you should see development behavior packs. Now inside of here, you guys can see we've got time to learn JS. Now this is inside of my development behavior pack. And that is the pack that we're going to be using. So if we look inside here, as you guys can see, it consists of a manifest.json, a scripts folder, and the node modules. Now, if you guys want to install node modules, then you can obviously um, follow the video in the top right. I've got a full video on how to install the latest node modules, especially since Minecraft updated about, I think it was two days ago or a day ago, something like that. Um, but yeah, so once you've put it inside of here, then you guys can open up Visual Studio Code and you guys can add it to your workspace. From there, again, go to your manifest folder, find out your entry file. And if you wanna change the entry file, you can just simply do like an index.js and then go to your scripts folder and create an index.js or just simply rename the one that you already have and do index.js, ignore this up here. But as you guys can see, index.js, and then if we go to main.json, we can see our scripts entry folder now is the index.js. So once you've got that set up, we can now move on to the basics of JavaScript. Now, as I said, this is part one of the series. So I'm gonna be going over some basic things that you need to know to actually get scripts to run. And we're also going to be setting up multiple scripts in multiple folders within the series. So I do want to show you how we can do that inside of Minecraft. So we don't wanna put all of our scripts inside of the index.js because after a while, it will just get cluttered and crammed and everything's going to be in here. So we don't want that. So what we can do to actually fix that issue is we can use an import method to import different scripts inside of different files located in different folders inside of the script. So what I, inside of the behavior pack. So what I mean by that is if we go to scripts here and we right click it and we click on new folder, we can set up a folder called menus where we can put all of our menus inside of. So if we open that, we can then click new file and we can do GUI. Now it's very important that when you are setting up a JavaScript file, which is the coding language for Minecraft, you must put .js at the end of each file for it to 
run. Now, if we actually do this and we type a simple console.warn in here, now console.warn, all that does is warns a, it's like, it's like console.log uh, in Minecraft, console.log. Um, and you can obviously access that by pressing Control H if you have it turned on inside of the creator features. Um, and all Console One does is obviously sends a log, but this is not going to work because it's inside of a different file. So this file is not going to get read by Minecraft at all. Now, if we go to our manif manifest.json, and we see scripts and index.js as our entry file, that means it's gonna read the index.js and whatever is inside of it. And if nothing is in index.js, it's not going to do anything and it's going to end there. So GUI is never gonna get run. Now, the way we actually import it is using the import method. So we can type import and then space, and then in quotation marks, what we're going to do is we're gonna put a full stop and then a forward slash. Now what this does, it will put the uh, the full stop, puts us inside of the relevant folder to where we are. Then the forward slash will bring up the folders that are available for us. So we can obviously see that menus has popped up, so we'll tab that in, and then we'll put a forward slash, and then you'll see GUI. Now at the end of GUI, we're gonna put a .js, just like that. And as you guys can see, it's recognized the file. So now if we was to save this and then go to GUI.js, anything inside of GUI.js will now be read by Minecraft. So that is how we can import multiple files. So this is now going to get ran. Now, if we wanted to, we could import another file inside of here um, and so on and so forth. And we could just keep on doing that if we really wanted to. But what you guys want to keep in mind is inside of index.js or your main.js, your entry file of the pack. Again, let's go back to our manifest, the entry file right here, as you guys can see. We wanna put all of our imports in here, but there is another way of doing this. Now, if you have loads and loads and loads of files and folders, this is going to be pretty cluttered. So what's good practice to do is inside of our menus here, if we actually set up a new file inside of the folder called menus, we can actually set up an index.js inside of here as well. Now this is not our entry file, so this is not obviously going to run, because again, it is a different file. It's called the same, it's called index.js, but it's located in a different folder, so Minecraft is not going to read it. Now instead of actually importing our GUI inside of here, what we can actually do now is import, and then in quotation marks again, put a full stop and a full forward slash, menus, forward slash, and then we can actually do index.js. And now, GUI is not going to get, rad, uh, get read, but index.js is. So, inside of the index.js, we can now import, and then in quotation marks, full stop, forward slash, GUI.js, as you can see, and that will now get ran. Now you're probably thinking, well, isn't that just the same thing? Yes, it is, but it comes with its benefits because now inside of the menus uh, folder, if we was to create, say, a, another menu, like a GUI2.js, for example, and we was to create another one, so new file, GUI3.js, just like that. Now we can actually import all of our things inside of this folder inside of this index.js. So now we can import and then full stop forward slash, and then we can go GUI.js number two. And then obviously number three, and then inside of the index, our main entry file, as you guys can see, it keeps it nice and clean. So now we're importing just one file inside of this folder, and inside of here is importing everything inside of this folder. So this really helps with keeping things nice and clean. Again, if we was to create another folder and call this one, say, functions, inside of here, we would create an index.js. And inside here, this is where we would import all of the things inside of the functions. 
So if we was to new file and call this fun fun one dot js and go to new file again and fun two dot js and you get the point. We're now just going to import obviously forward stop forward slash fun one dot js and again fun two dot js and then if we go to our entry file instead of having to import fun one fun two we can simply just type import and then we can import the functions index.js and it's good practice to do this it keeps your entry file nice and clean and it keeps all of the um, imports inside of a different uh, folder inside of the relevant folder so we can go to functions and we can say okay all of these are in this index and menus okay all of the GUIs are in this index so it just keeps it nice and clean and that is how you can import files but if you guys import empty files like GUI3.js as you guys can see nothing is in here Minecraft will throw an error and say that it can't find that folder because there's nothing inside of here that it can read Sometimes it will run, sometimes it won't. So try to avoid importing uh, files that either have unfinished code in them or code that you don't want to run. Now, instead of having to remove GUI, uh, GUI 3 and GUI 2, because we're not using any of these actually, um, but say we was working on GUI 2, for example, what we can do is actually we can put two forward slashes in front of the code and that will actually be known as a comment. So Minecraft is not going to read this at all and it's just going to read GUI.js and GUI3.js. This is now grayed out and it's known as a comment and then when we're ready to import it again, we can just take away that comment. It saves you guys having to delete the line and obviously put it back every single time. And what's really cool about this as well is if I wanted to turn off the menus folder, if we go to our entry file, and this is why it's good practice, if I wanted to turn off all of the menus because say something was broken in there and I wanted to uh, fix it, I didn't want it to run, we can just comment out the index.js. Now again, that means that this file is not going to run, therefore, everything inside of it and all of the imports are not going to run either. So that is how you import things inside of Minecraft and inside of your behavior pack. So I hope that made sense. If it didn't, you guys can obviously go ahead and rewatch this. But that is how you import certain things inside of your index.js. Now I know that was very, very basic and I didn't show a lot in this video because the video is already about 13 minutes long and I don't want these videos to be too lengthy, but we will go into more things um, down the line and these videos will be uploaded at 6 p.m. on random times throughout the week. They will not be posted on the weekends. Now I'm still going to be doing my script API tutorials on Sunday where I give out um, code to you guys so you guys can use it as well and hopefully these videos will lay to um, rip apart that code that I give out for free as well so you guys can start making your own scripts but again this was very basic it's simply just importing files and again you have to import Minecraft server and Minecraft server UI to use certain things inside of files but we'll get into that in the next video but thank you guys so much for watching make sure you click that like button down below as it glows up when i say it which is so cool i learned that a few days ago and make sure to subscribe to my channel as well so you never miss another upload again it's the glowing button down below but anyway guys again thank you guys so much for watching it's b-boy solace 